In this video, we look at the ambiguous case. So, we've just simply been given these two examples, find the area of the following triangles, and then we're going to look at the relationship between them. So, let's start off. We can see here that we've got an angle and the corresponding side. So, straight away, we know we're able to use that area formula, ABC, small b, small c, small a. Area is equal to half, and this is going to be the angle A formula. So, it'll be BC sine A is equal to half times B, which is 5, times by C, which is 4, times by sine 50 degrees. Okay, and if we chuck that all together, we can see that 0 0.5 times by 5 times 4 times shift 1 sine 50, and let's see what that makes, 7.6 the area is 7.66 centimeters squared. Okay, and we'll look at the other one over here. Area is equal to half times by, and we'll say we need to work out. <laughs> we need to label it first. A B C, small a, small b, small c. As you can see, it's exactly the same thing. And uh, we'll just be, go straight to it. 5 times 4 times sine 130 degrees. And let's just throw that again. I'm just going to change this just to make life easier. And that'll be 7.66 centimeters squared. Okay. So we can see here that both of these equal 7.66 centimeters squared. Not sure if that's unusual or not, but. What do we know that's similar about these triangles? Well, we know, and I'm just going to highlight this in green, A, B are both four centimetres. So we can represent this as, you know, a line and a line. And we know that A, C is equal to A, C, and we can represent that with another little line there, or double line. So we seem to have locked those in, right? We've locked in those side lengths. We can see side length A is vastly different. And we can see that angle A and angle A are different in both of these examples, right? So why can these pop out with the same angle? Well, the thing is, I'm not sure if you notice, but what happens if you add 50 degrees plus 130 degrees? Or if you rotated this and slotted it into here? You'd actually make this straight line, okay? Now, I'm not sure if you remember the supplementary angle rule from, you know, way up here. Let's scroll up and... So we're looking at the supplementary rule. Sine A is equal to sine 180 minus A. So we know if we've got, you know, sine 70 degrees, it's the same as sine 110. If we look at this case over here, we can see that sine 50 degrees is equal to sine 130. So here, if I've got the same chunk here, the same chunk here, and then this is 50 degrees and this is 130, we know it's going to be the same answer because sine 130 is equal to sine 50 degrees. It's supplementary. Okay. Now, this is our lead into what's known as the ambiguous case. Okay. So the ambiguous case works a little bit like this. Say, for instance, you're trying to solve for this unknown angle. Right, you're not sure what A is, two answers will pop out. Okay, So if we just reverse engineer this and we go, okay, we know the area of this triangle was 7.66, and this is not exact, right? So let's use a few more decimal places, right? Just copy from over here. So 7.66, and I'm just going to lasso select and just move that across a bit. Okay, So the area is equal to half times by 5, times by 4, times by sine, and we're just going to reverse engineer it and let's pretend we don't know what A is, right? Now, we're going to sub this into our class pad, okay? And when we do this, we're going to use a solve, okay, given that, you know, X is going to be in between two values. We need to do that when we do this, okay? So let's have a look. Solve 7, in fact, what we can do, we can just drag that in, right? Like that. It's always a nice little way of doing it. It's equal to 0 0.5 times by 5 times by 4 times by shift 1x. Okay, close bracket. Then we're going to use this here, math 3, given that 
and we have x has to be greater than 0, but it also has to be less than or equal to 180 degrees. Execute. Way, look at that. So if we put this formula in, and this area has to be exact, we know that x has to be either 130 degrees or 50 degrees for it to work. And this is the ambiguous case, is that we can have two separate angles produce the same area. Triangle that's 50 degrees here with the same dimensions and 130 degrees over here will make the same area. And this is called the ambiguous case.